For the better part of a year now, I have been looking for the best email marketing solution for my business, and I've tried to, you know a, a few during that time. But um, I recently found out about Bento, and I'm loving it so far. I've tried it, uh, and in this video, I just want to kind of give you guys an overview of everything that I'm seeing as a uh, you know somebody that is a user of Bento now. So we're going to talk about a bunch of different things. Make sure you look down in the timeline of this. I will have everything. Uh, timestamp chapters if you want to skip to a certain specific part if you're just looking for certain feature sets and everything like that. But my thought process with this is I want to give you an idea of what you see on the outside of Bento from a marketing perspective. I want to tell you all the things that I've learned about um, the team and how they operate and everything, all the little tidbits that maybe from the marketing you, you might be able to see, but we'll just give you an inside peek at that. And then also we're going to dive in. We're going to look at the back end of Bento, what it is, um, I'm going to kind of give you just like a rundown of all the different features so you know exactly what you're getting if you do deci decide to sign up for the, uh, they, they offer a 30-day free trial. So um, it's kind of a no-brainer. So the beautiful part about Bento that I want to start with right off the bat is that I am not an email marketer by trade. I run a web design agency. I do content marketing online with YouTube and things like this, but I'm not like, I'm not a, I've not been email marketing for years and years. But at the same time, Bento has such like such a wide range of tools and the learning curve isn't ridiculously steep at the same time that it, I really truly believe that it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or if you're seasoned this platform uh, it's been working for me and I think it's going to work for you in that regard so if we just take a quick look and an overview at uh, the bento website here which is just bento now.com I have a link in the description as well um, you can go here and you can kind of see the the the, uh, the idea here. email and automation for fast growing startups um, and again I would say it's pretty much kind of for a lot of different people in that regard, uh, just based off of the feature set and everything like we'll get into. And you can kind of see right here in the beginning, email and SMS, which is another thing. Like the thing that I just, interesting about Bento, and I'm going to inject a lot of these different thoughts in here is that there's just so much. Like that's that's the kind of the, you know, you look at other platforms and it's like you have to ex pay for extra features or uh, there's things missing that you would want and you have to go layer on another solution. I mean like SMS in here, chat in here, the flows and the integrations, everything like we'll see, just really stellar stuff. Um, you know, and obviously everything's fast and just we'll talk about Discord because there's a big community there. Email validations, huge right now in 2024. Um, again, we're not going to go through the entire website. You can look at this on your own. But my point is I just wanted to give you an idea of like the vibe, you know, from the front end because this is what people do see. And then obviously we'll dive into the back. Um, the only other thing that I want to talk about while we're out here is pricing. So simple pricing. There's no hidden fees. No hidden fees. No surprises is uh, is the tagline there. And um, you know, if you have less than three three thousand users, it's you know it's going to be thirty dollars a month. And then it scales up from there. Obviously, you know, if you went like to I don't know like you know, two hundred thirty five thousand, right? You're paying you're paying more. So you have to consider this depending on where you're at and what your what your list size is. But the, but the thing that I thought was really interesting about this is, again, I'm, I'm tiny, right? I'm definitely in this one still, right? But depending on where you're at, the cool thing about this is you're not paying for features. You're not like, you're not paying for extra, um, you know, email sending or whatever. Right? It's unlimited email sending, team members. And I'll, I'll talk about this too, is I'll, like there's a lot of extra stuff that you get with Bento for just one price is my point. So you're just paying based on the size of your list ultimately, you have every feature in the product. And the other thing too is I'll show you an example when we get inside is that you can actually have multiple businesses on the same account if you want. So you could like switch back and forth. Like you're not paying, you don't have to pay for a separate account for, you know, if you have like, you know, a personal brand and, a, and an agency, you, you can just, it's all in one. Like you could do that. It's all, you're just paying for the same thing. Um, it's kind of really cool uh, in a lot of ways like that. So again, the main, main simple way to talk about the pricing is it's just based on how many users you have. Um, which I love. And then you can start a free uh, three, a free 30 day trial. Again, link in the description for all of that. When you first sign up for Bento, the first thing, one of the first things you're going to be greeted with is the fact that they have a discord server specifically for support. Every single member that is on the Bento platform gets access and gets invited into this discord server. Now, if you're not familiar with discord, uh, maybe there's a little bit of learning curve here or there, uh, but there's an app for discord. There's a desktop app. There's a website. Um, there's a lot of really good stuff in here again, and I will preface this with by saying if you're turned off by discord in some way and, or you don't use it, they do also offer like email and traditional support as well. But the cool thing is that literally, if you care about this, the founder, again, Jesse Hanley and like other people using the platform are in these channels in this whole community, right? And all these different like channels for different, you know, reasons and stuff like that. 
they're in there talking about questions that everyone is going to have because they're all on the same platform. It's a very unique approach to support that I don't see in too many other SaaS products. I don't see the access to like, you know, the CEO, the founder, developers and stuff like that. Um, I just really love that. I think it's such a personal approach. Um, and again, it's not not like the, the product doesn't back it up either. I mean, it, we'll, we'll get into it and the product is amazing as well. So it's really just, I love it. All right, so let's dive into the back end of the platform now. And again, there's a lot going on here. So I'm gonna try to hit everything I can. If I miss anything, if you see anything, if you have further questions, please leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you with an answer. And also again, remember there's chapters. So there's gonna be, we're gonna go through everything here on the back end. So if, you're, if you see something that you're really interested in, it will be labeled down below. Go ahead and you know take a look at it. So Bento does a really good job that when as soon as you sign up, the first thing that it you know has a little kind of onboarding thing here with a video from Jesse, that the first thing you have to do is you have to install tracking. Now you're probably wondering, well, you know, maybe some other email platforms don't make you do this, but the idea here is actually really impressive. If you look at the bottom left-hand side of the screen here, it might be a little small, but you can see like zero users today, events today, emails today. The users and events is this Bento as a platform takes the email marketing kind of even one step further. I'm sure other platforms kind of do this, but it takes it even further than anything that I've personally seen. And that is you install the tracking on your WordPress website or literally anything. I mean, it's just code snippets or, you know, whatever, but you can go through all of these different options, right? You're using Webflow, whatever tracking script, doesn't really matter. You can even use like Zapier. You, long story short, whatever you're using, you connect Bento to it. And then Bento has has a script basically that is tracking the user information on your website. And then you can do, it opens the doors to a ton of things, but on the very, very baseline level, you can see when people come to your website, what they're doing, like how many people are accessing the, the website that you have the Bento tracking script insca- installed on, or like what they're doing. You can set up like different events and stuff like that with flows. I mean, we're only going to scratch the surface here. I'm just giving you an overview, but there's a ton of things. I just want to get you I want to give you an idea of what the UI and the experience is like, so then maybe you can book a call with uh, Jesse to go over a deeper demo, or you know, or just sign up for the free trial and figure it out yourself. So, um, but yeah, I want to I want to make this important because I make this uh, very important point. Like, it's very guided as far as the setup here, right? Installing tracking, importing subscribers, all those types of things. Um, you know, you can just import via CSV if you're coming from another platform. You can create workflows. You can do all sorts of stuff, right? So we're not going to go through all this right now, obviously, but this takes us down to the people section, right? And people is just your list. So if you had a, uh, you know, a list from like a HubSpot or a ConvertKit or something like that, you can load them in here. You can have custom fields and all that sort of stuff. Uh, It's just really, really, really powerful. One thing I want to hit on too is that the support goes even further than the Discord um, and the email and stuff like that. Obviously, you can get personalized support, but even within, like you saw in the beginning, there was a video from Jesse, like a walkthrough on how to do that. With, with the uh, different pages, there's like audio walkthroughs, which I thought was awesome. If you click on that on the people page here or on the segments page, it'll explain exactly to you what you're supposed to be doing or how you should be thinking about it or you know what to do basically in general uh, on those pages. And it's, it's very nice. Um, and if you're like me, you're probably going to want to know like every nook and cranny of this, you know, of the feature set here. So we'll just like literally go through one by one. So this, I just have one, you know, contact loaded up in here, but like if you add users, you know, you can just add users like this. You can add in, um, a CSV. Uh, if you go to like somebody that's already on there, right. You can see all the different things. Uh, you can see tags, so you can add or remove tags. You can make custom tags. We'll get to the tags over here. Some of the stuff obviously overlaps. You can have custom fields, right? So you can update fields and do all sorts of stuff like that. Um, add a new field. I mean, you know, it, the the only the only thing that I would say about this is like you just it's just like anything else. There's a little bit of learning curve just to figure out where everything is, and then everything works like incredibly well, right? So we were on users. It gives us the full scope of that, right? And we're seeing things that if we're just diving into this platform, we don't know yet just because we haven't gone to those those pages basically. But then if you go down to segments, there's already some predefined segments, which is awesome, right? You can see all the customers, you can see engaged subscribers, and there's even tool tips if you can see when, in the middle of the screen there when I hover over all these, what each one of these are, which again is very nice. But you're probably wondering, well, can I add new ones? Like, can I do different things? Yes, all these segments are, are basically, let me just give you an example. If you go to engage subscribers, all these things are, are just obviously a name, a description, and then they're like rule groups. So it's kind of just like a filter for your, for your list, basically. 
So the, for example, the engaged subscribers are the subscription is subscribed. So the person is subscribed and uh, the live event or open like relatively was within 30 days ago. So obviously it just says it up here, but the point is that you could create any type of thing that you wanted there, create it into your own segment and then have it as an option, you know, when you go in here. And all you would have to do is you'd add segment, you'd you know, put in the information up here, and then you can load one if you wanted to, so you can just edit one. This is like s incredible stuff here that they, that they thought of, like you could just load this engaged subscribers one up, and then you could say, okay, well, I don't want 10 days ago, I want 20 days ago. And now you could have a new one that's like, in, like, like more engaged or like recently engaged, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, this stuff is just super awesome. And then different roles. So again, you could have email, subscription, gender, uh, tags, tags, fuzzy, like goals, like all sorts of different stuff here. I'll just give you an idea of, of all the things you could have. Um, lifetime value. I mean, it's just, it's really, it's, it's so powerful yet so simple is kind of what I've seen here. If we keep that same thought process, we go over to tags, you can do the same thing here, right? There's just a lot of customization. There's some automatic ones that are, uh, you know, just here by default, but you can create a new tag. You can have like a tag group. You can, uh, I got to talk about this for a second. Decaying visitor tags are just kind of interesting. So you can decay it based off of a, a certain time. So when the, let's say you set a tag, let's say you, you set up a, cre uh, create a custom tag here, and then you put that tag on a, uh, like a subscriber person on your list, then you can say like, take the tag off in, you know, a certain interval of days or months, which could be super, super powerful in, you know, some sort of flow that you could design, um, or just in general, if somebody, you know, if, it, if the, you could just use your imagination to see how impactful that would be. But there's a definitely, a, a, I've never seen that anywhere else. So that's awesome. If we go down to fields, we obviously have first name, last name, and phone as our default fields. You can kind of edit some of that stuff more. So if you want to add a field, you can add a new field. You can say it's string, integer, float. I mean, like, look at all these different types, right? Um, so all these different fields that you can have for all of your, all of your users. So a lot of customization there on the fields front, tags, segments, everything like that. I want to talk about events and I also want to give you a secondary kind of insight here. So if we go to events, you're not going to see anything. The reason you're not going to see anything is because of what I told you earlier with like multiple companies or multiple brands under the same account. I have that going on. We're currently in find a tech, which is my agency, but I've done more. So this is kind of like a standard one, like just so I can give you guys the full, uh, the full you know, view of when you would sign up, like a, something that's completely clean here. On my other end, on my personal brand, I've done a lot more. So if we click over to that, uh, this is again now the personal brand, and you can see in the events that there's a lot of different things going on. You're like, what is, why are we getting views? This is an email platform, why are we getting views? This is like the beauty of, again, Bento. It's taking the email marketing part, it's supercharging it with the analytics of the people, uh, you know, what people are doing on your website and everything like that. And then it's giving you all of these different, uh, these events right now, they're just views because they don't have a ton set up. You could, you could set up all sorts of other things. And with views here, you have, you can see that somebody went to, you know, Mark Smancy, Mark Joseph slash resource. And you can see like all of these different events that have happened. So it's kind of like if you have like Google analytics or fathom or anything like that, it's a similar thing, but now it's way easier to actually track and manage the the events and like what people are doing when they go to your website, especially when they're going, you know, if they're going from, uh, you know, an email or different things like that. But again, this is just literally tracking, you know, the usage um, or the visitor data from the website. Now I want to show you one other thing, because this was something interesting to me when I found out about this, is that okay, well, those are cool. Those are views. But like, what is, does that actually mean anything? How does that actually like, does that, how does that translate back to our email marketing problem that we have or, you know, our email marketing, you know, solution ultimately. And if you go to users, now this is again, a different user, uh, different account, right? Cause we were looking at the other one before. Look at this. It's like, Hmm, like all these different, like anonymized names. And those are actual users that were on your website. And now they were like kind of, you know, basically the data was tracked via Bento. So they, so you know that they viewed your website and things like that. Then if they come back then, and they convert, let's say you have a, like a newsletter sign up, you know, to, to get to Bento, which we can talk about as well at length when we get to that point in the thing, when they come back, then they're able to, uh, then you have the data from when they like before they were signed up, right? So it's just like, again, it's tracking the anonymous people. It's giving you uh, the data on what people are doing on your website, even before they subscribe. And then you kind of have an idea as far as, uh, you know, the, just the data and how to, how to market to them or, you know, how to use all that. It's really, really impressive. So our last tab over here in the people category is ads and you can track ads. I mean, I don't have any experience with this just yet, 
but um, you could you know listen to the walkthrough and things like that. UTM parameters, you just track ads through that. Um, and again, if you want like even a deeper dive or specifics, um, leave me a comment or book a call with uh, book a demo call on Bento uh, now.com with Jesse and he will explain anything you want. All right, let's keep rolling here. If we go down to emails, then we see broadcast. So this is this is the thing, obviously, right? When you think of an email marketing platform, the baseline of it, you need to be able to broadcast. You need to be able to say like, you know, a newsletter announcement or anything like that. If you say get started, there's a ton of different things you can do here. Again, the UI is clean, simple. You name the broadcast. It's, this is just an internal name. And then you can uh, schedule when it's to send. You can batch emails, all sorts of different like intervals as far as hours, days, um, you know, how many you want to do there. You can, you know, play with that as much as you want. Targeting, again, you can pick the segment that you want, like we were talking about from earlier. Plus, you could also do UTM tracking here if you'd like. So once you go through those steps, right, assuming you click all that, there's three different ways that you can actually edit email content. So a lot of times if you use like a MailChimp or something, you have to just do it the way that they're doing it, or maybe there's a way to import or whatever. But the cool part about this is you can do like an AI powered text editor, you can do a drag and drop editor that's more, you know, common, or you can do just do an HTML editor. So just real quick, let's just go through these. So the first one is AI. So this is a pretty cool experience. You can write in your subject up here you can write in your preview text and then down here you can start typing now if you see there it, can, it says press slash to use command so you could use AI like directly in here if you wanted to uh, you can do text buttons images you can drop all this stuff in here and obviously it's like kind of more like a uh, I don't know it's like a liquid I think is liquid cheat liquid cheat cheat sheet down here is how you can do all that um, if you also go to like preview down here then it shows you kind of like the examples and everything so again not an in-depth tutorial on how to use this but this is one of your editing experiences, Liquid, you know, the whole thing there. Um, it has AI built into it if you wanna, you know, do that at all for the, uh, you know, for some of the writing and all that. But it is, uh, it is one option that you have for creating the emails. If we come back out now and we talk about another, you know, if we do another create a broadcast here real quick, just to kind of go through, we have uh, Stripo, if I'm saying that correctly, and you do uh, choose that designer. And now this again is a little bit more, um, familiar, we'll call it, right? Maybe the UI isn't exactly the same as something you're accustomed to, but this is more of a drag and drop, right? So it's kind of like a MailChimp type experience. Probably different strokes for different folks here as far as what you would want to use. Uh, just depends on what you're more familiar with or what you want to try out. But ultimately, you're kind of doing the same thing. You are constructing an email uh, to send out to your, um, you know, to your, to your clients, to your customers. And the other thing cool is, I didn't show this on the last builder there, but it did have it as well. You can kind of see the versions of what you've had as well. There's a little bit of version history there. Uh, there's different like layouts, like you can start with a different layout, like you can set up something. Um, so you kind of don't have to start from the beginning. That's actually a really funny thing because there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, email marketing platforms that don't let you have templates um, for some reason, or at least you have to pay for them. Not like paid templates, but templates that are, that you set up yourself. So you don't have to rebuild the email every single time. Again, silly, but um, Bento got you covered there. Uh, so yeah, kind of cool. You can kind of see the preview. It's pretty awesome. Uh, the last one here, and I don't know if we go back to broadcast, we go to create broadcast one more time, and we go to code. Uh, you can literally write it yourself, which I'm not gonna be doing, but you could do that if you wanted to, just in like HTML. So a lot of options there on how to create your, uh, your actual email content. After you start doing some of the broadcasts, the next thing you're obviously gonna wanna do is probably some sequences, right? So like either like a welcome series or if you wanted to uh, put somebody on a drip campaign for literally anything, you can kind of see like an overview and all that, but it has that. Um, you can do welcome series, you can do um, you know all sorts of different things as far as that goes. And the way you basically do that is you just add those emails. So you can create those emails using the same types of things. Those The reason we talked about the way to create the broadcast is because that's how you have the option to create all the different emails. Um, and then you can set up as far as like how you're gonna do it, right? Like in the, the amount of days and times and everything like that that you're going to uh, send these different emails. If you're on that sort of drip campaign, this is your ba basic sequence stuff. Um, and again, really powerful on its own, but when you couple it with like flows, it gets to be kind of like really interesting. And it's so much, this flows is so, so in depth that it has its own section, right? Um, so there's like a lot of different things that are going on there. We'll cover that in a second. I wanna come back to that. I just wanna finish up the emails piece here. But you have different authors. So you can have it from like newsletter at findatech.com. You can set up all your DMARC and everything like that. 
Uh, they have a really nice thing in the settings that we'll talk about towards the end where uh, it shows you what you're supposed to put in your DNS and if it's working and all that. So you can have multiple different authors and senders. Uh, for layouts, again, this is what I was talking about earlier. You can start from somewhere. You can kind of like save it as like a, a layout and then you're able to, um, you know, just kind of go from there. So you're not like reinventing the wheel every single time you want to write an email. Email logs, this is again, just a log of all the different emails that you would send. Obviously there's no data in here right now, but it would show you all that. You could filter it. Stats is another thing. I, I see Jesse in the Discord all the time, like coming in here and, and making different uh, adjustments to things with like, you know, RPR now and earnings and all that. So you can track all these different things if that's something that you wanna do through here. Uh, just, you know, really in incredibly, uh, you know, impressive in that regard. And deliverability. Um, so this is a big thing, right? Deliverability checks now, everything like with Google, DKIM, SPF. Again, Bento does a really good job in telling you like what is good, what is bad, making sure that your DNS is everything. And if you have any questions, you could just literally go in the Discord or email um, and you know just the sender off and everything like that that we'll talk about. Really important these days and Bento you know, has you covered there as well. So let's dive into those flows now. And there is a lot of automation and crazy stuff here. And I'm not even gonna scratch the surface on this one because there's just way too much. But but like you can see, just like take a take a step back for a second if you if you if you're into this and look at how the whole UI changed. You're in this like studio almost of uh of flow, right? And you can you have to use your imagination with this and you have to add it obviously into your own business as far as like what you could actually use this for because it is extremely kind of, to me, overwhelming at first, but once you think of like a, a reason to use something like this, or you understand the power of it, then it becomes uh, invaluable. So a flow is basically just something that like happens, right? So if you get a new customer, then something would happen, right? Uh, you can send an email, you can add them to a sequence, and you and it's not just like a random new customer, it's like, did you get a new customer into you know a specific segment, or did they come from a specific place? Uh, you know, there's all sorts of different, like just variables and factors that you could play into this, but it's super incredibly like powerful. So I think there's no real way for me to give you like hypotheticals right now. Maybe I could do that in another video. If you, if you guys want, let me know, but, um, I'm just going to, again, go through kind of, so you can get an idea as if you were sitting in front of this computer right now, looking at this, the things that you could do. So you have all these different triggers, right? So you can see like there's Bento triggers, there's WooCommerce triggers, there's LearnDash triggers, Shopify, Stripe, Easy Digital Downloads, okay? There's Actions, then there's Bento, Slack, Discord, Code, Zapier, Bento Chat. Uh, we didn't even get to chat yet, there's so much here. Uh, you know, there's like, you can send emails, you can create cards, you can do all this stuff, okay? Um, there's Update, so you can update like, you know, different, um, you know, tags or, or users, data is in here. There's Delays, so you can just build this in. And I wanna stress this, this is like really, really important. Other platforms charge you so much more for stuff like this. And like, it's built in. It's literally all one price. It's just based off how many users you have. So it's crazy, right? I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, and then split, so you can split different things, all that sort of stuff. Uh, notes, I mean, like, it's like pretty much anything that you want. And if you find something, again, I wanna reiterate this, if you, if you need something added, then just, again, Discord chat, um, you know, or like email or whatever, and, I'm sure Jesse would be happy to add it, depending on you know what it is, how it affects community and things like that. Um, but if you have a good idea, I'm sure you know that's the beauty of like not being you know in a big, a huge like crazy uh, like corporation. Um, it's a fantastic product with a fantastic team that actually cares about its users. So um, so yeah, and there's also over here. I won't do this because this is many minutes of stuff here uh, right now on, on in this video. But you can see like a full overview, like this is 23 minutes of like exactly how to use this and everything like that. So I'm just giving the, the high level, but if you, get, if you sign up for the 30 day trial, you can come in here, you can you know, play around with this to your heart's content. Uh, just really cool concept, like all the flows and everything like that, extremely powerful um, and not gated behind some sort of paywall, like for extra uh, plans and stuff like that. So if we come back out here to the main dash where we have apps under flows as well, so you can integrate different things and configure stuff that you want. So if you're using Stripe or Shopify, uh, Zapier or anything like that, you can configure all that stuff. There's a lot of different integrations um, because that's you know part of the, part of a good emailing platform. You wanna have all of that like kind of in sync as much as possible. So if we come down here to library with the last thing in flows here, we can actually kind of see an example real quick. So if you are a Shopify user, there's a couple like you know default starter flows here that they call them. 
you can come in here and you clone them and then it's like they're sharing it with you so you can clone it into yours and then this is an example of like what a what a flow could be okay so there's like notes in here there's how's everything's happening it's like abandoned cart right so like if abandoned cart is true then you add them to a, a you know sequence um if the order is fulfilled then you can you know your order is on the way like it's like a bunch of it's like a way to enhance if you're using like a Shopify or Woo WooCommerce or something. It's a way to enhance that if you want to do that. It's a way to, um, you know, automate more things on your on kind of the back end process. So you're not like manually doing all that. And the, you know, again, just the possibilities are endless. So a lot of different stuff there uh, on the flows side of things and uh, just really, really powerful. If we head down to chat next. So chat is like kind of a separate entity from what I can see. It's on a subdomain here, chat at chat dot because there's like a ton going on here. This is full live chat, okay? You can put this on your website for free, right? Like it, it's all included. Um, you know, you can have contacts in here, conversations. So if you wanna do like sales chat or support chat or whatever, all in here, all included, pretty incredible. Um, there is an iOS app. I don't know if there's currently an Android app. I don't believe there is at this moment. Um, but you can mod, you can uh, you know mod the chat, you know moderate the chat there from the uh, from your from your phone in that regard. There's also I didn't say this yet, but there's also a desktop app for Bento. I'm just on the you know the web client here, but there's a desktop app for Mac and Windows. There's an iOS app, um, and again back to the chat thing. There's a bunch of different like you know ways you can do this here. Obviously, um, you can monitor those conversations. You can have contacts. You can see all the reports. This is incredible. Like, like all the stuff that you can do all in one, all in one platform here. Um, you can have different teams, so you can have like multiple people doing different stuff. I'm just again hitting on the high level things. You can have canned responses, automation things coming here in beta, uh, and then different integrations along those lines. Pretty incredible. I think if we go back to chat here, it's going to open it. It'll just open it there, and then if we chat settings, uh, there's a couple different things here. If you want to, oh, en enable chat on every page, so you're able to. Um, you're able to just embed this. Obviously, the idea here is you're embedding this onto uh, onto your website, um, so you can automatically put it on every page, or you can just use it, uh, you know, where you feel. But again, just super flexible, super powerful, uh, you know, amazing there uh, as far as like chat built into. It's crazy. So the next item is cards. Now, this is a really interesting feature, and at first, I like I saw the power, but like I didn't understand exactly how it would uh, incorporate into like email marketing, but if if this this is one of those features where like if you can have if you have a reason for it, it's 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 a no brainer. It, it just fully makes sense. And basically, what it is is um, there's a video here by that Jesse did that I will just kind of skim through and show you uh, kind of some screenshots. So I zoomed in a little bit here to help. And if we kind of take a look at it, the idea is that without you know creating a whole one here for ourselves because Jesse did a good job here with with like kind of the explanation is you can have like one of those kind of like Kanban boards, I guess they're called, um, or like a Trello board type thing, like right here in your email platform. Now, my first thought was why would I wanna do that if I had that somewhere else? But the idea is like it's it would be specific to the things that you're doing. And then the beauty of it is like, you're not just like manually putting that in. The way that you really leverage this is you use those flows that we were talking about and you go to like, if something happens, if somebody submits a bug, if somebody, you know, is, uh, you know, needs to be prioritized in some, you know, extraordinary way or something, or there's tasks or something like that, then you can automatically have those people or those things or whatever added directly into those boards. And then all in one place, you can kind of see your whole marketing, like, basically plan in a way, like the things that you need to, you need to, ta you need to task out or do or whatever. So again, it's one of those things where really, awesome feature, a lot of uh, possibilities, and it's just one of those things where there's almost too many possibilities. The, the only way to really understand it is to just think of ways in your business that uh, you could benefit from it. So if you're in here, definitely play around with that. I think that's awesome that that plays directly into the automation now rather than having to deal with a third party. Really, really cool stuff. Next item on the list here is forms, getting towards the end here. So there's a bunch of different form options. This is another thing too, is like, you know, I hadn't heard of Bento until recently, but it's not like it's a small platform. It doesn't, it's not like it it, it doesn't integrate with things. There's already like in like, um, you know, native Bento forms, pop-up surveys if you wanna use those. But if you're somebody like me that's running like a web design agency, normally like to keep that part of it kind of uh, as tight as possible, right? So if you're using something like an Elementor forms or what we use is WS form, then you can just, 
literally integrate with Bento directly using that form builder. And you can send, you know, via API, you know, how the, uh, you know, how the third parties like create all that via API right into Bento. So again, on my website, I have a WS form that has a Bento integration uh, integrated with it. And then that information goes directly into Bento. So I'm not using a Bento form necessarily, but I am using um, a third party form that brings the data directly into Bento works perfectly. And again, the one thing I will say is that if you don't see your form builder on this list, then reach out to them and see if they're willing to create that integration for you, which they may or may not, depending on how you know interested they are in continuing to expand their uh, integration list. But regardless of what form you use, it's all about just getting the data in there. A lot of different ways to do that. Um, so you can pick the different form that you want. You can have HTML forms, like you just like build it. Basically, this is like the Bento form kind of builder here. Uh, the pop-up, it's the same type of thing. So if you want to create like a pop-up form, you can kind of do that. You can do like a generic bottom banner. You can do a generic pop-up. You know, honestly, this is pretty impressive for a campaign, you know, like a, like an email campaign, email marketing tool at its core that uh, you can do all of this. I mean, this is this is better than some website builders I've seen. So it's, it's pretty impressive. Uh, again, depending on your use case and what you want to do, if you want to do it all in Bento, you can. If you want to, you know, third party and integrate, uh, just a lot of options. I, I know I'm saying that a lot, but I, I really believe that. Uh, and then surveys as well. So surveys are, are built in. You can add a little name there or something. And then come in here and you can have a full survey of of things and then you know save those results. And this is just nuts. I'm, I'm, I'm learning even more as I'm making this video for you guys. Uh, because I hadn't even looked at the surveys yet. And this is like really, really impressive that you can do this all on your email marketing platform. So um, yeah, I mean, at a high level, they're incredibly, incredibly awesome. And then landing pages. So early access is uh, landing pages right now. But the fact that this is coming is something that's that's pretty, uh, pretty dope, is that you can have a landing page. And if you join the Discord, maybe you can get early access to that. But again, if that's involved in your email strategy as well, at this point, you almost don't even need a website in some ways. Obviously, you should I, you know, am biased. I think you still should. But there's a lot of factors that are directly in here. And something like this, actually, depending on how this ends up being fully rolled out and implemented, is this could replace something like a CRM type of that that level of a of a, a funnel campaign builder, perhaps. If you had like a, a, a good enough landing page with with forms, um, you know, and, and just different things like that. And then it's all tied into your email, it just makes it a lot, a lot more streamlined, a lot more simple. So very, very interesting uh, stuff here uh, from the team. Really, really impressive. We come down to reports, there's a bunch of different, you know, options here, obviously, as well, the uh, stats are not neglected. So live uniques, obviously, there's no data on this one specifically, but you can see live uniques total things like that. Um, custom, uh, as far as like different things, you can like add different reports and all that. Uh, digests. So, um, what are di di digests? Send you critical information once per day. Contact support if you want a uh, specific uh, one built. We can kind of create and schedule a digest um, just from different different things. Um, again, lots of different options. Um, and then attribution maps. So again, there's no like data here because I don't have anything. But again, more stats, more different ways to kind of see like exactly what you're doing as far as broadcasts, ads, sequences go. It's really amazing. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, and then down here uh, for site, so you set up some simple stuff here, sender authentication. So those are the different things that you could do for the the um, the, uh, the DNS and all that sort of stuff. It's going to tell you exactly what to do there. Uh, attribution window, we talked about the um, attribution modeling if you're you know tweaking your, your modeling to match your business. Um, chat, talked about that a little bit. Extra scripts, this is just that um, that welcome piece again. Different integrations still there, environment variables. I mean, again, some of this stuff is even over my head, but there's just so much different uh, different things here uh, that you can kind of play around with and uh, hopefully implement into your own business. So if you learned a little bit more about Bento in this video, make sure that you hit the like button down there. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you wanna go ahead and start your 30-day free trial, there is a link in the description, or you can just head over to bentonow.com to see more about the product even deeper and as far as the website marketing goes. Book a demo with Jesse. He's gonna tell you everything about it. If you have any questions for me, just based off the stuff we talked about in this video, throw them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer every single one of you guys. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it and have fun with Bento.